Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. Make sure you're subscribed, follow me over on Instagram, all that good stuff and let's get to it. So today we're gonna be talking about fragrances that will beat the heat. Um, these fragrances are optimal for summer. They have pretty great performance, at least, you know, four hours on the skin and maybe 10 to 12 hours on the clothes, you all. Um, and that's depending on how you spray. Um, these fragrances, like I said, are optimal for summer. Uh, the performance in the heat on your skin, even with sweat, um, they it can withstand. Um, they're bright, citrusy, zesty, juicy, mouth-watering, a little aromatic, uh, aromatic, not aromatic, aromatic, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, these, like, I love them all. Uh, some are, you know, some you could probably wear in the spring as well, or I did wear in the spring, um, and I'll let you know which one that is. And also, I want to let you know, two fragrances that I recently sampled that will be full bottles bottles in my collection soon um, I had a chance to sample um, what about now what about pop the house of oods bonbon bon pop okay bonbon bon pop with that peach note the white peach the coconut the vanilla is absolutely amazing I love it and soon that will be in my collection. I put it on my arm, it was intoxicating. I kept sniffing my arm. Also, the new Elysium. You guys know that I do have the um, the Elysium Parfum Cologne. Love it, one of my best recommendations for men for the summer. Um, the All Intense, the Elysium Parfum All Intense, stunning y'all. So if you are looking for a citrusy uh, fragrance, ladies, if you like Elysium, if you love smell Elysium on your man, then you're gonna need the Elysium Intense. It's a little sweeter. It has Neroli, tuberose. There's orange blossom in there. It's a little green. I think there's iris in there as well, y'all. But that Elysium All Intense, because you all know that I do wear Elysium, the original, but I layer it. Um, this one, I do not have to layer. The new All Intense, I do not have to layer. Um, and the bottle actually looks a little more masculine than the original Cologne version, y'all. So anyway, that one is coming home with me very soon because I absolutely love it. Initially, I thought it was going to be a little more masculine and woody, but it's actually, to me, it's slightly feminine leaning. It's more feminine than the original Parfum Cologne, y'all. So ladies, get your nose on that one. It may be like the most amazing scent um, for the summer, y'all. Anyway, it's good. So the very first one we're going to talk about is Rouge Trafalgar. Um, and this is by the House of Christian Dior, and this is the private line. I love this fragrance. There's cherries in here. There's black currant. It almost smells like a black currant leaf. Cherries, black currant, raspberries, strawberries. Super fruit, fruity. Um, it's a little screeching in the opening. That's why a couple of years I've been trying to sample and I didn't get it until I really put it on my skin and I wore it for the day. Um, so anyway, you definitely get all of those berries that I mentioned on your skin. Plus, you get a little bit of citruses in the fragrance. Um, that black currant. You get more of that black currant and that grapefruit and the strawberry and the cherry and the dry down on your skin um, it does have patchouli in here but it's not patchouli heavy so make sure you spray this don't be afraid ladies if you don't like patchouli then still try this fragrance but wear it full body because initially when I sprayed it just to test it I was like nope it's too screechy until I wore it you know full body y'all this is beautiful love it it's going to be a staple in my like fragrances i'm going to sit this on my tray for summer fragrances y'all it's some good stuff feminine uh very pretty very elegant um very elegant as in like dainty you all not in like i wouldn't wear this to like a like anything elegant like a ball or you know maybe a um maybe on a date i would wear this on a day date a fun day date or maybe if you're going on a date and you're going biking or something something like that. This is like the perfect, uh, perfect fragrance for that y'all. Rouge Trafalgar, get your nose on it. The next one we're going to talk about is one that I've been talking about for years and I absolutely love y'all. Um, I hope they never discontinue this fragrance. This is Vilheim Perfumery. This is Mango Skin. This is the juiciest fragrance, okay? The juiciest, the most mouthwatering y'all. It's absolutely amazing. 
Mm. I saw something on the internet. This guy bought a $300 mango from either Korea or Japan, like literally $300. It was pretty big though. Um, anyway, uh, the dogs are barking, okay. Um, this smells like the juicy, over-ripened flesh of a mango. And then you get a little bit of that green skin as well, y'all. Like this is my favorite mango fragrance of all times. So I absolutely love it. Some people say they don't get the mango in here. I mean, mine has been, mine has been sitting for years. So, I mean, even at, when I initially smelled it, it smelled like mango. Now it's a little more concentrated, sweeter. You get that tincture of that red wine in here as well, just a little bit um, of the vineyard, you know, the vineyard with mangoes, y'all. Um, anyway, it's juicy mango skin. Y'all, this is a must for summer. Get your nose on it. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about, I get tons and tons of compliments every summer. I think multiple um, of my coworkers have purchased this fragrance. Um, and this has a beautiful note, a very juicy. This is feminine, it's juicy, you know, all of that. Um, there is pear, there's black currant, there's rose in here. Um, it's slightly, you get a little bit of greenness as well, but you really get a juicy note of pear, black currant, and strawberry. I love this fragrance. Burberry EDT. I hope they never ever take this off the market. To me, this is the best Burberry fragrance they have on the market, okay? Um, and it's the EDT and it performs like an X-Trade or an EDP, you guys. Get your nose on it. It's intoxicating juicy, fresh, airy, ethereal, most amazing for the summer, Burberry EDT, Burberry Her EDT. We're gonna go in order, y'all. So the next one is Floral Street, and this is Wonderland Peony. Wonderland Peony has that note of cotton candy in there. There's peony, uh, there's guava in this fragrance that's super juicy and mouthwatering, but it does have that note of cotton candy in there that makes it a little more feminine, sweeter, uh, but still amazing for the summertime, you guys. This is juicy, super affordable. Um, I would actually say if a bride wanted to wear this on her wedding day, then she could if she's wearing something like an apparel pink or a white maybe like an outdoor wedding you all um, it's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous uh, I think there's a note of rose in here as well it's pretty you get those florals the cotton candy and the guava um, there is also uh, red berries in here as well you guys get your nose on it Wonderland peony all right the next one we're gonna talk about is one of my favorite apple fragrances and I left this I think I left this out of my apple review because this is one of the most juiciest fragrances and I had to have this one in this review y'all so this is Mono Kini's and this is Pivone Pivone is stunning it's juicy it's mouth watering and you get a note of suede in here but it remains juicy as well so in here you get your peony you get a juicy note a juicy note of red apple in this fragrance that I absolutely love and like the note of suede as well y'all um the suede kind of just softens it up makes it like a little less sharp uh but y'all the red apple it smells like a candied red apple with rose and um i think there's rose or peony sorry with peony that really pink fluffy peony airy peony um and the note of suede that's in the background y'all um pivone get your nose on it by the house of mono Garakinis. it's beautiful i absolutely love it and if i ran out of this i completely buy it again y'all all right, so the next one we're gonna discuss is Coral Fantasy. Um, and this is this is Valentino. This is Donna's Flanker. Donna Born in Roma Flanker Coral Fantasy. Um, this, you have a beautiful note of kiwi in here, y'all. It's, uh, is it kiwi or guava? Um, there's kiwis, there's kiwi, there's Brazilian orange, there's rose, there's musk, there's some sandalwood in here as well, but I don't get any woodiness from this fragrance. I literally get the kiwi, the juiciness of the kiwi, a very watery rose, you all, and some, it smells like some red berries. Did I say red berries? Um, no, Brazilian orange. It does smell like orange, you know, or mandarin, or maybe blood orange, you know, blood orange, mandarin, 
but it's beautiful, very playful. It lasts about four hours on your skin, six hours on your clothes. Take a decant if you're gonna be out longer than that. Um, this is a very fun, flirty, fruity scent, and I absolutely love it for the summer. Uh, very easy reach, you know. Um, you can wear this in the office. Uh, maybe if you work in a place where you can't wear offensive fragrances, then you definitely need to reach for Valentino Donna Coral Fantasy. Such a long name, y'all. All right, so the next one we have is Block Polychrome. Um, and Block Poly, let me shake this up for you guys. So Blanc Polychrome is, not only is the bottle beautiful, the fragrance is gorgeous as well, you all. So in here, to me, this kind of leans, it's fresh, it's unisex, but in the opening, it leans slightly feminine, a little screechy in the opening, but the dry down is absolutely amazing. I think I layered this with my Baccarat Rouge 540 and another 13, and y'all, this was for just with another 13 and B540. B540 gives it that little bit of sweetness. Um, this has Ambroxan in there as well. But in this fragrance, you have, you actually have fig in here. You have lemon, rhubarb. It's a lot of lemon in here, especially in the opening. Don't be fooled by the opening because it's a little screechy, but it's beautiful, y'all. About maybe five, 10 minutes in and spray this on your skin, okay? Um, so in here, you have your lemon, rhubarb. There's some fig, there's some mandarin in here. Um, like I said, screechy in the opening, but beautiful, you all. I absolutely love it. It almost smells like, um, sorry y'all, let's close that up, okay? It almost smells like a lemon sour candy um, and it almost actually smells like there's some neroli in here or some orange blossom, you know? I love it, I love it. Uh, Blanc Polychrome, like I said, I layered this and I'll probably continue to layer this with B540 um, and it's amazing with B540. This is by the House of Atelier des Ors, Blanc Polychrome. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is one that Sebastian Mabu talks about all the time, and this is a dupe for, and I didn't buy it because of the dupe, I bought it because I love the House of Guerlain, and um, yeah, um, Afternoon Swim by the House of Louis Vuitton. Um, Sebastian said, this is pretty much a twin, and this is Mandarin Basilique by Aqua, this is the Aqua Allegoria, the Aqua Allegoria line. Um, Mandarin Basilique, there's so much Mandarin in here. There's Mandarin, there's Clementine, um, there's, um, what is it? There's Bitter Orange, you know, Bitter Orange, Mandarin, and Clementine. You know, there's some basil in here. Um, it's super fresh, juicy, probably the most mandarin orange, juiciest fragrance uh, that I have, even, even out of the ones that I'm gonna talk about here today in my collection. It's bright, it's zesty, it's zesty, it's juicy. It has that note of basil in here as well, but you don't get that. It just adds a little bit of greenness, slight earthiness or aromaticness to the fragrance. And I, ooh, y'all, I love this, y'all. I wore it last summer. And um, yeah, I'm gonna continue to wear it this summer as well it's gorgeous if you don't want to spend the coins on afternoon swim um then you need to get mandarin basilic like my boo said y'all i'm gonna stop saying that because somebody gonna report me and think i'm crazy but i'm not okay i'm just joking around the ladies are my boos too okay um so the next one we're gonna talk about is pamphlaloon um i almost want to like pamphlaloon just more than i like mandarin basilic because i love the note of grapefruit y'all i love grapefruit pink grapefruit, yellow grapefruit. I eat all kinds of grapefruit. I drink grapefruit juice just about every single day. Um, anyway, it's beautiful. I thought something was crawling on my foot. Um, so anyway, Pamplaloon by Aqua Allegoria, and it only comes in this smaller bottle. Um, that's all I need anyway. So Pamplaloon, you have your grapefruit, bergamot, cassis, uh, petite grain, neroli, which is, they come from the same tree. Um, and you have some vanilla in here. I don't get very much vanilla in here. Maybe it just adds a little bit to the sweetness of the grapefruit fruit but literally this smells like yellow and pink grapefruits i love this fragrance it's juicy you know anyway get your nose on it um it's very it's a little creamy maybe it's coming from that neroli you know love it uh pamplaloon get your nose on it uh the next fragrance we're going to talk about is by a different house yeah we're moving on to a different house 
and this is Clementine, California, not by Atelier des Ors, but by Atelier Cologne, y'all. Um, so Atelier Cologne, uh, people just do not want me to finish this video. I'm getting all kind of FaceTimes. Rico just FaceTime me. If you watch this video, Rico, you FaceTime me. My daughter just tried to FaceTime me. Uh, somebody else just called me, uh, but we gonna finish this video, y'all, okay? Um, I started this video over three times because my neighbors came in. They were like, oh, what are you filming? I'm like, oh, Lord. Jesus, can I just finish this video, please, y'all? Um, anyway, this is Clementine, California. Uh, this is beautiful. It smells like Clementine's fresh, juicy, peeled Clementine. Um, so in here you have your juniper berry, cypress, cypress Haitian vetiver, slice, slightly warm, spicy, y'all. It's beautiful. Um, this one is slightly in the dry down. Um, it's unisex. I wouldn't even call it masculine leaning because it's a little warm spicy. Um, it, there's a freshness to this as well. Almost like there's a eucalyptus in here, uh, but there's not. Uh, but you get more of that peel, warm spicy, a little earthy from the vetiver. California Clementine, y'all, unisex. Get your nose on it. Lasts a good six hours. Um, I love it and it's very fresh, you guys. So the next one is uh, Pompelo Paradise. Pompelo Paradise, another great fruit, y'all. Um, anyway, beautiful fragrances. I purchased these. I know they don't sell um, Atelier Cologne fragrances anymore um, in America, but I purchased mine from Max Aroma, and I think they still have them. They used to sell these on Fragrance Buy, but they don't anymore. So uh, Pompelo Paradise. You have your Calabrian uh, bergamot. You have some mandarin in here. Um, you have orange blossom, pink grapefruit in here as well. Uh, black currant, rose, and mint. This one also has mint in there. Slight, slight earthy note from the mint, but you know, excuse me, yeah, <clears throat> all the pollen in the air. Um, I really don't get that, but if you love a note of grapefruit, slightly sweet and grapefruit, then you need to get Pomelo Paradise. <clears throat> this one's a little heavier than Aqua Allegoria's uh, Pamphlalone. It's a little, not juicier, it's just a little, almost like there's a blood orange in here, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a little smoother as well, you know, maybe because of all the other notes that makes it a little smoother mixed in. All right, so the next one we have is one that I absolutely love. Um, and I actually bought this one when I was traveling over in another country because initially they said this was discontinued. I think I bought this over in Germany. Um, and this is Orange Sanguine. Orange Sanguine is amazing. I love the creamy blood orange note in this fragrance, you all. So, like I said, it's... It's, it's beautiful. Slightly woody, but literally a creamy yet fresh blood orange note in this fragrance. Um, anyway, there's a there's an Australian sandalwood in here. That's what I think it is. Uh, literally just blood orange, blood orange. Um, you get some geranium in here, slightly floral note, but green at the same time. Um, it's beautiful. Um, orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne. All right, actually, I think that's it, y'all. We're done. Um, like I said, uh, I really want to get my hands on a full bottle of Elysium. Is it Elysium Cologne? Elysium Intense. Elysium O Intense. Love it, love it, y'all. Sample that fragrance, okay? And also sample the peach, the coconutty, the vanilla, the sandalwood. There's patchouli in there, but I don't get any patchouli in Bon Bon Pop by the House of Oud. I want those two. Um, and those are definitely on my wish list, y'all. Um, I think we did everything, you guys. Go on to the world, spend amazing siage, do good, be good, all of that. And I think that's all I'm supposed to tell y'all, okay? Um, yeah, all right, love you all, bye-bye.